An entire generation will remember him as the leather-jacketed king of cool. Okay, if you had a daughter, would you let her go out with somebody like you? Of course not. There is nobody like me. Hey. And almost 40 years later, at Chepso Comprehensive, he's still a winner with the ladies. You look great in leather. <laughs> <laughs> but Henry Winkler's school days were far from happy. So I was told that I was lazy, that I was stupid, that I was not living up to my potential. It wasn't until he was 31 that he discovered why he found learning so tough. He was dyslexic. Since then, he's written more than 20 children's books based on his experience of growing up with a learning difficulty. And now he's on a nationwide tour to encourage school children not to let anything hold them back. It's so important that children know that how they do in school has nothing to do with how brilliant they are. I was told I would never achieve, and I'm here to tell you that it's up to you, that your power will bring you where you want to go. He was just telling us about how we can do anything um, if we believe in ourselves with courage and we can just go on to be what we want to be. He was really like inspiring. It's inspired me for like doing writing and speaking out loud. He just like motivated me to reach my goal because even he's got dyslexic, you can reach to your goal. He wanted to be an actor and I want to be a sporting referee so I can reach my goal if he did. He was amazing. I actually have dyslexia so to actually hear him and what he's done in his life is amazing. Most teachers here will remember him fondly as the Fonz. The children may know him as Mr Rock from the TV adaptation of his books but today they'll all remember him as the man who inspired them to believe in their dreams. Alexandra Lodge, ITV News, Chepstow.